Hi, welcome back. This is Excel Video 59. We're going to talk more about conditional formatting today. If you just watched Excel Video 58, you'll see that where we had multiple conditional formatting rules in the same area, we were just fine as long as the rules didn't conflict. If one rule said, hey, shade these cells, and the other rule said, hey, change the uh, font to bold on these cells, shading the background of the cell, changing the font of the cell, they don't conflict, we were fine. Let me show you what happens if the rules do conflict and give you an example. So here we have the same data we had before in terms of third quarter, a couple, some, just some different numbers for six locations. Let's play with conditional formatting. So let's say first what we want to do is we want to let's highlight all the cells that are greater than 400. And let's make those green fill with dark green text and click OK. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. I've got six cells where I've seen more than 400 new patients in that location that month. The same area is still highlighted. Now let's go back to conditional format and say, you know, I'd really like the top three items to be a light red fill with dark red text and click OK. Now look what Excel's done here. I used to have six green cells with green font, and now I've only got three. What happened? Why is this 425 cell red with a red background instead of green with a green background? And the key to the whole thing is that I asked the cell to be kind of red and green at the same time. Let me show you the, the two rules and see if that helps make this clear. Here's the rules manager again. So for the current selection, the top three cells are supposed to be red with a light red background and any cell that's greater than 400 is supposed to be green with the green background. The key to understand when you have these these formats conflict and when they do what Excel does is, is it looks at the precedence or the order that these are in. So top three comes first so I'm gonna make uh, the red cells come first and let's move this so you can see. Here I'm gonna make these red cells even though they're over 400 I'm going to make them red because they're in the top three. Whereas these other three cells, I'm going to leave them green because they're not in the top three. If I click on top three and choose this down arrow, now what happens is I've got the green rule on top and the red rule on the bottom, and I'm going to come over here and click apply and slide this out of the way for a minute. So now I don't have any red cells. Let's see if you can still see that. Because if the cell value is 400, I want to make it green. And if it's the top three red, but since I've already got these cells that are in the top three also meet this over 400 criteria, and that criteria comes first, that's the way Excel formats them when these rules conflict. Stay tuned next time. We'll walk through what this stop if true button does in the conditional formatting rules manager in Excel video 60. Thanks for watching.